Good job. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> There is a whole world connected by oceans, and it is calling to us, starting with the Bahamas, which is notorious for being a sailor's gateway drug. We are headed there now with a long layover in South Florida, which will be our last dose of civilization for some time. We are just raising anchor from having anchored out for the boat parade. Gonna go get some fuel and head to the dock. And the bridge is about to open and we like don't have time at all. <laughs> we have 10 minutes until the bridge opens, so we're I in a bit of a hurry. No, that was a different bridge. Oh, okay, good. Underneath the bridge. Yeah. Kind of a cool thing. Super cool. Does not look like they're ready to open it. I just heard the bridge driver call that truck and tell him to move. So they said, yep, we're coming up. So they're pulling their guy out. We have to wait until the bridge is all the way up where we're allowed to go under. It just finished opening. So we try and time it. So right as it finishes opening, we get under it. So we're pretty close here. You don't want to be early though. You, you can't be early. And they, don't, and they don't like you to be late. The bridge opened exclusively for us on our boat. So, uh, sailing vessel ever is all clear. Thanks for the help. We're the only ones that went under, which means we got lines of cars stopped for our boat to get through. So we definitely want to get through quickly. It does kind of seem like an injustice. I don't know, but we got to go through. There's, there's two marinas around here that have fuel. There's this one right here, but they do like super, super yachts. And I think they are all full is what it looks like at least. So we may go down to the other one, which is just more like the local uh, just Fort Lauderdale Marina. That's our spot right there. And if anybody's wondering, for as low as five million dollars, you could have one of these waterfront properties. They have pretty cool Christmas parties. That one's cool, it has a spiral staircase. Adding, up, adding another five gallon just so we have it because we don't want to run out and have no backup. So this is just kind of like a reserve, I guess you could say. We're all fueled up and energized. We're all fueled up and energized here on Eva, which means that we get to head back to I just cannot vlog in this city. I swear I will tell you guys what's happening next. The bridge is opening and our marina is right on the other side of it. So we are going to go through, we're going to dock. Oh, yeah, this is the most current and wind that we've ever had. So this is going to be a, a sporty one. We don't want to back into the dock pulling our dinghy. So I'm going to hop in the dinghy and I am going to take the dinghy. Love you, bye. And I'm just going to wait on the dock for when Brett comes in to catch lines. <laughs> Alright. Home to the dinghy dock. I always like leaving my boat and just seeing how beautiful it is. Here he comes. Since we started sailing, we've spent hardly any time in a slip. So our comfort level when it comes to navigating our fiberglass boat around concrete pilings and fixed impressively sharp docks is shaky at best. Safely and smoothly docking up in the strong current and gusty winds today mean we can finally breathe easy again. All right, well, that was pretty greased. I don't even know what I would critique. That was really smooth from my perspective. Yeah. What I was trying to tell you guys earlier is that we usually don't dock up because it's really expensive. Docking our boat is $150 to $250 a night, depending on the location. So typically we anchor because it's totally free. But being on a dock is a lot more convenient for doing projects and provisioning and all of those things. And because we're going to the Bahamas very soon, being able to get things done quickly and efficiently and a lot of things is very important because we are going full throttle project mode back to how we back to how we like it so there we go and it's already wow wow you were fast why we're, is it naked we are getting it powder coated they were all sorts of beat up the leather was ripped and holy we're not just gonna do one this is what it used to look like well I, this is what it currently looks like let's beautify these falls through you know That's project number one. Project number two, 
is our outboard, which we're also gonna go drop off. That's the outboard. the outboard mount on the back of the boat, which we're also gonna go drop off with the fabricators. And we're gonna drop them off today very first thing so that they can get to work while we're getting to work on the other projects. And I think we're gonna need to get an Uber. This will be tough on a one wheel. Yeah. Oh, I thought I remember you only grabbed one of them because I saw the shadow. So I'll just make the other wheel. <laughs> I ordered an Uber and they'll be here in about five minutes, maybe sooner. Probably sooner because we had to get off the boat. But I'm really curious to see how they react to this whole situation here. Because I should have some. Perfect, how are you doing? Down here. So far so good? He was great. I like him. There's no room for a car to go. Get the right thing. Okay, we were comparing the two. I just put them up in the sun and we're gonna go with this one. It's black with a little bit of texture, but it's more matte. This one's got a little bit more gloss to it. We want the matte look. We were awesome. we were just discussing about how awesome both of these two places that we've been today. They're both just kind of like smaller shops that they do marine stuff, but they were both like Amazing. awesome. As long as they do a good job, this is pretty cool. And I'm excited for the results. Yeah. Good morning. I have my buddy Dre here. He's gonna help us out. We are gonna get this boat finally clean. We're gonna wash it, and then we're going to buff it and actually get all the tape lines off. That was after Jay's adventure this morning. I don't know if it'll come up. I'd have to drop my pants. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> I crashed my one wheel and got some pretty good road rash. I'm gonna look real good in a swimsuit for the next few months. Part of what we're doing today is taking off the old name so I got the port side off, and Dre's over here doing some boat yoga. <laughs> he got out. We're getting there. And Jay just got back from the farmer's market. Check out these strawberries. We've been hauling around these total boat supplies since we were moored in Bristol, Rhode Island. And now that we're here with unlimited water and electricity safely tied to a dock, we're finally able to use them. It looks amazing, but it's a lot of work. You don't look like you're doing much. Looks are deceiving. We have three days until the helms are done and we get special visitors on board. So now's the time. We are going to pick up the upward mount. It's all done and I'm really excited to see what he did. He told us what he was gonna do, but it was all very, you can tell he's an artist. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what he fabricated for us. There's no tubing in, literally. This is an inch and a half thick, solid aluminum. Now, helms. <laughs> I'm so excited to see how these turned out because this is actually the finished product. Those look so good. Those are sexy. See you guys, what you guys do with them. Like, why don't you do Be the biggest eyesore. All good things. Yeah. I have only good <laughs> things to report back to you guys. I'm so happy about these. I was just like getting in the car raving about it and decided to turn the camera on so we could record initial reactions. But man, they look so good. Better than I imagined. I'm excited to see it on the boat. It so it's not, it's, it's just got a tiny bit of texture to it. Just a little. I think just enough. I don't think it's gonna be slippery, but it's not, it's not it gritty and it's not slippery. It's kind of like right in between. I hope they fit. Let's just see how they look. Ooh, I like how it feels. Yeah. But this is heavier. Look who the cat dragged in. I think he just put it on backwards. <laughs> My mom's here and we're gonna go sailing. So we got her her very own Tilly's hat because everybody in the comments always loves mine. And says it's cool, so she was a little envious. She also has the same pants as me. She just wants to be just like me. Brett's waiting. He's about to be on a Zoom call with his grandma. I just got my very first Polaroid camera and some film. I feel awesome. Now I just have to figure out how to load the film. Yes! It's going to be a good afternoon. Brett's been picking on me all day. He picks on me extra when my mom's here. It's true. I have to make sure she knows I love you. <laughs> Oh, look, you were in a zero-weight zone, water taxi. Oh, wow. You just passed my yacht. You're fixing to knock me all around. 
You're in a zero weight zone. I got them to get some take pictures and send these back to your shop, see what they got to say. First sale with our black helms, what do you think? I feel like very Jack Sparrow esque. Does he have black helms? He's a black boat. The black pearl. Perfect day for sailing. We're getting Jade's mom comfortable at sailing. We haven't figured out what to call her. Flower mama? We were just hanging out with Papa Delos the other day and everybody calls Papa Delos, Papa Delos. So ever since then we've been joking about what we should all call my mom. I think the favorite name was Dr. Mama because she doesn't like it when we make fun of her education level. I like Flower Mama, it's like Flower Child because she's named after a flower. Guess what flower my mom is named after in the comments below. My mom low-key hates attention, but it's time she gets the credit she deserves for her part in making this Expedition Evans dream a reality. She has been our biggest supporter from the very beginning, and we're super grateful to all of you guys for watching and supporting alongside her because you've made it where we could actually hire her for all her help in managing the back end of the channel. So when she came for the holidays, it made sense for her to want us to reach 100K while she could be there with us to celebrate. I really didn't think it was going to happen and I told her as much, but she said that 100k is all she wanted to give us for Christmas and then set off on Christmas Eve to ask strangers on the boardwalk to subscribe to our channel. Today is Christmas Day, it's like 7 o'clock at night and we are 10 people away from 100,000 subscribers. We're going to go out and... Nine. Digits nine? We're nine people away, so we're going to go out of the boat so we can celebrate 100,000. Gotta find it. Oh, yeah. He's making rules, he's gonna refresh it without filming. Okay. One! We need one! 99! Look at this. 99999. Nine, 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 nine. Wait, we got Are you 100,000? <laughs> <laughs> Should we refresh it? Yeah, refresh it. 101! I'm so excited! <laughs> they both did it! Both of them! Thanks, guys! Awesome! Alright! Thank you! <laughs> Derek. 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 And Micah. Yeah. Thank you. Derek and Micah. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You did it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Good job. Love you. Love you. Merry Christmas, guys. Good job. I love you. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're allowed to be excited. I want to help the camera on. We did it. Time to order our plaque. Okay, let's go dancing. You guys should dance. Go dance with your mom. No, no. <laughs> you feel like it? Like a story again? Your mom? Let's get ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah. Is there ice cream okay. around here? All right. There's, There's a bunch of places to sit and have ice cream and some drinks. Okay. okay. There's a fancy Japanese restaurant down the boardwalk that sells sushi ice cream. It's like rice. Anyway, it's going to be delicious. We're going to go get some to celebrate. Right? Delicious.